In the heart of the Indre Valley, close to Azé le Rideau and the castle of Sachet, beloved of Balzac, you will find the basket weaving community of Vilaine les Rochers. Founded by Father Jean Laurent Chiquin in 1849, Willow has been cultivated and transformed here with ever growing passion. Until 1970, the skill of basket weaving was passed down from father to son. Since then, the basket weavers here have welcomed other members from all over France. Today, the cooperative has some 40 members, several of whom are recognized as renowned craftsmen who transmit their passion for basket weaving to the younger generation, at the same time diversifying into new innovative products. The members now also work regularly in close collaboration with well-known interior and exterior designers, as well as landscape architects. Firstly, let's look at how osier is cultivated. The willows are planted in coppice to produce withies. The cooperative has at its heart 20 osier suppliers who guarantee the quality of the raw material. Ten different varieties of willow are cultivated, each with their own particularity, according to what they are going to be used for. It is this diversity of varieties which gives such a wide range of colours, going from gold to bright green, not forgetting the golden browns and reds of the raw wicker and the honey gold colour of the peeled wicker. The Salix Trianda or Noir de Vilaine is a particularly hard wicker used for fine work. It is one of the oldest and most cultivated types of willow locally. The Salix Viminalis or Gravanche, which is cut every two years, gives long regular withies which are used for the handles and the base spokes. As for the Salix Alba, also known as Jean Ardane, Salix Fragilis and Salix Purpurea, these are used for raw wicker weaving because of their beautiful colour once dried. Willow is a tree that thrives in soft climates and in silty soil. Cultivated in fields bordering the river Indre, the wicker used by the cooperative benefits from perfect growing conditions. To create a wicker plot, willow cuttings are taken from new annual shoots and planted at the end of winter. After some years, a stump forms. A plot can be exploited for 20 to 25 years. In autumn, the branches that have grown during spring and summer can be as tall as three metres high. They are cut every year. This is the wicker. From November, when the sap is no longer rising and after the first frost, the withies are cut and sorted by length and finally tied into bundles. To obtain white wicker, the bundles are put into water basins to ensure vegetation the following spring. During the month of May, when the sap is rising, the wicker is stripped. In the old days, the stripping was done by hand, withy by withy, with the help of a break. Later, in the 30s, stripping machines made stripping much easier, as it could be done bundle by bundle. At the end of the 20th century, new, even faster machines were invented. Today, stripping is a lot faster and less difficult, but nevertheless still requires an expert hand in order to do it correctly. Once stripped, the withy is dried in bundles and stored in attics. When they are completely dry, they can be conserved for several years. At this point, the basket weaver takes over. Today, the Villain Les Rochers Cooperative has 40 basket weavers who, every day using their hands and very few tools, create baskets, chests, bags, cribs, all sorts of fixtures for bakers, as well as creating individual pieces commissioned by designers and architects. 
It takes many years of hard work and training to become an accomplished basket weaver, and at least five years of practice are needed before he really starts to master his art. Depuis 88, <laughs> ça fait déjà quelques années quand même maintenant. On est constamment en train de, de créer quelque chose en fait. Et puis le l'osier, c'est agréable à travailler aussi. Donc euh, ce qu'il y a de bien, ce qu'il y a d'agréable, c'est que on change très régulièrement d'articles, donc on ne fait pas toujours la même chose. Et c'est pas monotone. Alors là, je suis en train de réaliser une grille. C'est une, ça sert pour la présentation de la pâtisserie vinoiserie. It's not just about knowing how to weave the wicker strands. Being a basket weaver is knowing how to master forms in space, thanks to a solid knowledge of how to manipulate the wicker in order to create a large variety of items. Round, oval, rectangular, all sorts of different weaving techniques are used. If the techniques needed are many and varied and acquired through practice and love of the job, the tools used are, however, simple and few and have hardly changed at all. A knife to spread the withers, a sickle to cut the sprigs, a bodkin to create holes, a punch, a ruler and secateurs. Whilst working, the wicker has to be dampened regularly in order to keep it supple. Once finished, exposure and natural aging give the stripped wicker items their distinctive natural patina. The cooperative has always believed in creating high standard products based on their quality and the creativity of its basket weavers. An important marketing channel is that of fixtures and fitting for bakers and food shops, giving a traditional touch to their presentations. The cooperative collaborates regularly with luxury product designers to create bags, dresses, jewellery. And for the last 20 years, the basket weavers have also been asked to create exceptional objects for interior and exterior decoration. Balustrades, domes, using brown and white willow, anamorphic compositions for the Bagatelle Gardens, wicker vases and an exterior dome for a local hospital, exterior building palisades especially treated to resist weather conditions for several train stations, a horn of plenty in villain les Rochers. All of these creations were completed in collaboration with different designers and architects. Only the most experienced basket weavers are involved in their fabrication as the creation of such products requires a perfect command of the job and its techniques as well as the capacity to work with forms in space. For the last few years, the cooperative has been working with living willow as well as with chestnut. The most common use for living willow is the conception of hedges and weirs. To create hedges, the living withers are planted in the ground, then woven together. The willow hedge then becomes a living fence which fits perfectly into the landscape. Chestnut weirs are used to hold in soil, while the living willow weirs are used in small rivers and streams. Chestnut is fast becoming very popular with gardeners and landscapers alike for the fabrication of weirs, flower beds and urban furniture. The organisation of the Basket Weavers Cooperative guarantees stability and durability as it is founded in the solidarity of the men and women of which it is composed, whether they be employees or members. For centuries, willow growing and basket weaving have been transmitted from generation to generation, assuring high quality products. The cooperative is also resolutely geared towards the future thanks to its powerful creativity and its original creations. Without a doubt, the willow producers and the basket weavers will meet the challenges of the 21st century thanks to the new generation already passionate about their profession. <laughs>